Here's a little video showing our uh, stall rebuilding efforts. What you see here is the old stalls on the right side that um, will remain for the time being. We had two other stalls on the left side the same, but in the last week or two we've taken them out as, as, along with their posts because most of the posts were rotten. And now we're putting in two more stalls, although for the, temper, for the time being it'll be one big stall because we're expecting a foal, so the, the mare and foal will be in here in this area. Anyhow, this uh, shows just what we've been doing. We put in some six, 12 foot six by six posts into the ground about a foot and a half, and then we're tying them in to the roof uh, trusses uh, with horizontal boards that span the roof truss, as you can see up there. And they've got a couple four by fours on each end, or one four by four on each end. Anyhow, what we're going to do is uh, install some sliding stall doors, a couple sliding stall doors um, on the front here, as well as the middle section will be just planked in. So that just shows you what we've done in the last couple days here, measuring them out, um, getting them straight, putting them in, and then t tying them in at the top. We're just starting to do the east facing wall here with the planks. We're going to put one inch spacer between each plank, go up about uh, five and a half feet in height or so, high enough to so the horses don't hang their heads over or their whole bodies over and push on it. So here's the east wall we just finished. So that's going up close to six feet high. We just wanted this wall a bit higher because the horse sometimes throws out hay on this side over the tack boxes and whatnot. You can see how tall it is. I'm 6'2". That's good and solid now. Going from 6 by 6s to the 4 by 4 We added a 2 by 4 at the back to hold the planks in place. So we've got our second wall up now, the western wall of the um, stall. So this one's, uh, we took it to the same height as the other one on the east side just to ensure that they're not uh, getting their necks over and fighting with horses coming in the door over here. So it's looking, making some progress fairly quickly now. Now we just have to get our sliding doors for here and on the other end, fill this gap in and uh, if you get the rail track system for the sliding doors, um, then we'll be pretty well on our way, I guess. So here's our middle wall that we just finished for the horse stalls. So we have the two end stalls or the two end walls now we've done the mid wall here this will be a sliding door entrance here and then another one at the end are you happy about your <laughs> new horse happy. stalls my horse and foal will be happy Here's the west wall. Just to look at the upper posts tied into the rafter bottoms. And here's the west wall, the new west wall. And for comparison, here's the old stalls on the north side of the barn that were built about 16 years ago out of wood that was either given to us or found. Some of the old posts were uh, 
rotting at the base is on the other stalls. These ones are still pretty good, I think, but we're talking about maybe rebuilding, taking one of these stalls out and just rebuilding one and then having the open space for storage. Since, since we'll only have three horses. We got two now, but the foal's on the way. And here's the job of a horse person. The, not on, the ongoing tumultuous effort of stall cleaning. Work continues on the stalls at a feverish pace that we use. So this is where the old stalls were. We, were, we took all the posts out this morning and the old planks. Now we got the new posts in, tied it up with the roof rafters here. Now we're just starting to plank these walls. Nice jail cell, eh, everybody? Jail cell for poor old Colby. And I'm a part of it. Say the date. Say the date, Diane. If I knew when it is. Huh? If I knew what the date is. So here's a final video of our stall rebuild that's been going on for a month and a half or so. So the last video showed the rebuilding of these stalls, the walls being added and whatnot. And now we have the new hanging doors on uh, the front of the stalls. So these came as a metal unit, a uh, welded metal unit that you just add the boards into the front later when you get them. They don't come with these boards, but uh, you get the metal door and the hanging frame and uh, hardware up here that you can see along the hanger, hanger board. Yeah, we think they look quite nice and they roll quite easy. And the nice thing is you don't have a door swinging out into the aisle anymore. So this is Raven's stall, as you can see on the name here. And she's the one that's going to have the foal um, inside. As we mentioned earlier, it's a double stall right now. It's uh, basically two stall lengths. Later, as the foal ages, we'll return this back to a two stall setup so we can have three horses in their own stalls. And currently, we have a sun lamp or a heat lamp up here to help give some warmth uh, to the foal if it needs it. We've had some pretty cold nights this spring. Minus eight just the other night. It's not really getting very warm at all, even in the daytime. Here's the stall on the other side. That's Colby's stall. So he's got the stall to himself. Um, and the hanging door unit again up here with the rollers and whatnot. As mentioned in the previous uh, 
section. We had some new lighting put in up here above the, this area as well as in the other side. Diane's got her little teardrop trailer in here now so she can sleep out here and watch over the mare while it's uh, getting close to foaling time. So that's what we have here, full watch 2020. And here are the guys, or the guys and girl outside. There's Colby right here by the fence, where he usually is. And here's the mare that's going to have the full raven. You can see she's quite large in the belly right now. But she seems to be doing okay. We've also been doing some fencing and gate work out here at the riding arena because uh, Diane wants to put her foal in here uh, for a fair amount of time. So we added some new gates. Um, this is an eight foot one aluminum gate on the one side that's uh, just uh, accessible by a uh, human trail. Here's the other aluminum gate that we've added. This is a 12 footer. The other one, as I just showed you, was an 8-footer. And this one basically goes in from the horse paddock here, where I am. You can see the horses up there. In, into the riding ring on this side of the horse shelter. And there's the riding ring out there again. Just showing the horse shelter with the 12-foot uh, gate beside it there.